Okay, continuing on then from the Sky High Airliners Ipso chart that we created, we've got a series of inputs, outputs, processes, and the storage. We identified the inputs were the application form from a customer, removal email from a customer, booking details from the booking office, cancellation details from a booking office, details of flights from a scheduler, cancellation details from the scheduler, and outputs the email rejection letter, the letter of acceptance, the list of customers, confirmation of cancellation letter, and the details of customers booked onto a flight. They are all our inputs and outputs. At this stage, just check the words on here. We're not giving any action words. We're not giving words like remove, which is a doing word, to do something to remove. We're saying it's a removal email. It's, a st it's data, it's a data flow. We're not saying cancel, it's cancellation details. So do make sure that your inputs outputs have the right kind of words on there. If we look at the processes you'll see our doing words join, leave, book, generate, cancel, add, cancel. Their processes, to a process it performs a task, it does something. So that's what we identified as the processes, and this is our storage. From the Ipso chart, creating a series of DFDs is really simple. I'm going to show you in Visio. So here we go, we're starting off with the box in the middle, Sky High Airliners. We're looking at context diagram. If we flip back to our list, these are our external entities, customer, booking office, scheduler, and manager. So if we place them, customer, booking office, scheduler, and manager. Customer, booking office, scheduler, and manager. Okay, let's look at our inputs. We've got application form removal email coming from the customer. Application form removal email they're coming from the customer. Okay we've got booking details and cancellation details coming from the booking office details cancellation details we've got details of flights and cancellation details from some scheduler And from that diagram, we've got all our inputs. Looking back at the Ipso chart, to the customer, we've got an email rejection letter, letter of acceptance, and confirmation of the cancellation letter. So there we go, that's that diagram finished off. That is a context diagram, or a level zero diagram, for Sky High Airliners. The next stage to turn this into a level 1 is to then bring in the processes and stores as mentioned on here. The best program to use is Visio because it takes less time. Uh, the first thing we need to do is delete the box out of the middle because that is being expanded. And everything else we can bring these lines right in to then start to link each of our data flows with process and the store. So I'm just going to bring all these in, give us more room to work with. 
You should always produce this on landscape, then you've got plenty of room. Keep your external entities around the edge of the document and all the processes and stores in the centre. So you can move each of these to the very edge. Uh, this will help you out later on. OK, now our sheet, if we refer back to the Sky High Airliner sheet, it says the airline company has a flight club. A customer can join the flight club. We said one of the first things, join the flight club. So there is our process. And we're going to add that there. Join flight club. We're actually going to make that process slightly smaller so it gives us a bit more room. OK, so we're going to join the flight club. And it does so by contacting the airline. The customer submits an application form. So I'm going to take customer's application form and link it to that process. If the application is rejected, the customer will receive an email rejection letter. So here's my other one there. I'm going to link that up. So those two are now linked to... They are now linked to that process. If the application form is accepted, the registrar will add the customer's details to the Flight Club member list. So that's telling us that we've got a store here. Member list. I'm going to put that details in there. So, new member details. Going to slightly zoom out here. Give us a little bit more room to work with. OK. So I've added that to the member list. The next part said it will create a customer account. So I've also got customer accounts coming in here. I'm just going to call it customer. You, you can put customer accounts on there. And again, I'm going to add that on there. So, new account details. The customer will receive a letter of acceptance. So, we've got a letter of acceptance is also coming from there. So looking at the original sheet, we've now tied up the first two paragraphs. We've done the first process. second process we identified was leaving the flight club. So let's add another process box. Leave flight club. Now it said a customer can leave the flight club by sending a removal email. There's a removal email coming in. The registrar will interact with the system to remove the customer's account. So we're thinking there the registrar is internal to the system. So the registrar is going to remove the customer's account and remove them from the flight list. So we're just going to put there updated member details. and updated customer details. I could have put on that label deleted customer details, deleted member details, that would have been fine. Move that slightly, that's better to read. OK, so that's done. That's got them linked up. I want to make this a little bit tidier. That's a little neater. OK. On our Ipso, the next thing was booking a flight. So let's return. And we're going to add process book a flight. To book a flight, the customer telephones the booking office. The booking office enters booking details. Here's our booking details. We've got them entering into book a flight. The customer account is retrieved so the customer account is retrieved 
and the flight details retrieved. So we need a flight store. The booking is added to the booking list. So that ties up that paragraph for booking a flight. When the bookings are closed, the airline manager requires a list of customers who are booked on the flight. We've got there a separate process generate list. I, I could actually tie this up and I'm going to. I'm going to tie this up with this book a flight. Because once bookings close, which is part of that overarching process, once bookings close, the manager gets a list of flights. I'm going to actually swap these around. I'll put that up there, move that round, put this up there, keep that nice and neat then. Um, booking list, there we go, nice and tidy. Next paragraph, a customer can cancel their booking. Let's look, have we got cancel in there? Cancel booking. So let's add a process for cancel booking. They telephone the booking office. The booking office interacts with the system and enters cancellation details. So, I'm just going to bring the booking office down here. Manager up there. That should be interlinked with that one. Let's get the manager. So we're always trying to find ways to make the diagram neater and tidier. Here we go, cancellation details. So this will go into to here. Remember, we're aiming for no crossing lines. So cancel booking. They've entered the cancellation details. The customer will be sent a confirmation of cancellation. So to cancel the booking, what else are we going to need to interact with? Well, we're going to need to interact with the booking list because we're going to need to update updated booking. Now notice I'm not saying update, we're saying updated booking. I'm going to send the customer a letter. So we're going to need details from their customer record. Best thing to do here, because so we don't get lots of crossing lines, let's just take a duplicate. And that makes it easier, much neater. Customer details. Okay, and we've got over there, look, it's right over here, this customer one. So let's take a duplicate of customer as well. And this keeps our diagrams neat. So I'm going to take that. That wants to be on there, and it wants to come from there. keeps that neater, keeps it tidier. And you start to see why we need to take as much room as possible on this diagram. Okay, scheduler enters details of flights which get added to the flight list. So a process is add a flight and cancel a flight. Let's add them onto here. We've got add flight and we've got cancel flight details of flight and that is going to directly interact with the flight store new flight details if we cancel a flight we could just call this updated flight details If a flight is cancelled, 
The system provides the booking office with details of all customers booked on the flight.